guys taking old rides back again so today i'm out with um the not a channel he's uh doing a news now york so on me today he's right up in front uh leading the way go on not a so today we're at uh, hmp franklin I don't think you can really see the wall from there today and uh, but yeah we're at hmp franklin then we've got a uh, HMP Lone Yoke and just down the road, I'd like to say next door, it's not quite next door. So yeah, um, listen guys, we're still a little little distance away from uh, the reception and main gate area. But listen, we're going to have a look about, um, there has been some uh, quite, what we'd say, high profile uh, prisoners held in here. And still, there is still some held uh, in HMP Franklin. Um, now, I can't think of the prisoner's name, but uh, back in, the, I think it was early 90s, that um, a prisoner um, did um, fake appendicitis, they rushed him out to an outside hospital uh, and he escaped. I can't think of his name. Look that up, guys. Um, there was a prisoner in here, I still believe he's in here still. Um, I know him as Skeg, he murdered a doctor. Um, and he did have a makeshift ladder uh, made. It was uh, he made it to the fence, not the wall, to the fence. Again, I don't know if that is in the uh, mainstream media. You'd have to look that up, but that's a hundred percent guaranteed fact. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was just saying, and not there is like houses. Um, there is quite uh, a few. There's like a little in the state, and I was saying, and not I wonder if any of the residents actually panic that if any prisoners actually did escape from here. You now listen, this is high security. Um, you've got IRA prisoners, uh, the likes of uh, fucking Huntley, the monster. Ian Huntley's in, still in there, seventh term. Um, so, yeah. Um, I always think, I wonder if the, um, the what you call it, the residents uh, of the, the estate here, uh, ever worry about um, prisoners escaping and like taking them hostage and things like that because my, my imagination can run away with me guys um, so yeah we're getting another stuff right at the front of the prison uh, so I may as well just show you that's how we're not there in front of us the Ministry of Justice um, so yeah we've got the big sign there HMP Franklin HM Prison Service, Public Sector Prisons. Um, so yeah, we've got the big gate over there. I'm sorry about this camera, guys, because when you move it, then it has to do auto focus. Um, I am going to try to be on my camera work today because I can make my camera work can be quite um, shocking at times. So listen, guys, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, I am going to pause, guys, and I will come back to you if and when needed. Um, well. Listen, we're going through that gate. I believe you'd have to be doing a six year or over. Um, let's see what's the talk. Miss, do you know what's the starting? Do you know, do you have to be doing six year or over to, to be a prisoner? Okay, fancy time anyway, miss. Have a good day. Into the East establishment. Oh, wait there. Not has got somewhere. Listen, I'm going to stand back and let Nutter do, uh, do some work. Not to get your camera up, man. <laughs> miss? Sorry, what you saying, miss? Just so I'm on the same page as well. Just so I'm on the same page. Right, that's fine. I didn't know you what you said. I heard you saying as long as you don't, don't what? Don't take any um, videos of us, the staff cars, or the... The, um, okay, Miss, do you know what? I'm not here to rub you up, right? No, 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 uh, I am an independent jealous. Can I just explain why I'm here? Well, I've got to go and get visits then. Okay, then, Miss. All listen, right. you enjoy your day. Stay safe, yeah, Miss, yeah? Sir, yeah. so, can I explain why I'm here? I just want to be open and transparent. Well, listen, I'll face it that way, but I'll just tell you why, why, why I'm here, right? I'll, 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 uh, I'll think with your wishes. Uh, so why am I? I'm an independent journalist, and I'm gonna be. I am gonna be walking about the area um, and getting some. Cause like what I like to do is like get a backdrop of the, what I'm gonna be reporting on, and then I'll go home and do my report from there. So obviously today uh, is HMP Franklin. I'm gonna be reporting on. 
um, like I say, it's publicly accessible, so I will be uh, well, around the, around the premises. You can stay like on the paths and, and not to go into the grounds. All right. That's, that's I won't be going I inside the that. prison. No, no, I know you won't go into the Right. Like the car parks and that, it's all, that's all Well, I might walk property. down the wall, no, sir. You can't, you can't walk down well, the wall. I is probably accessible, but what I will promise you, I'll be open and transparent with you. I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to give you an edit. No, no, I'm not. I, I won't get no that. vehicles on that, on there. I'm not here for that. I'm just here what, to make What me... I'll have to do, though, is if you walk around the wall, I'll have to inform the control room. Ah, right, well, that's okay. Then you'll have, have to do what you... have to inform the police. That's, that's well, that's okay. The here. police could come and we're not breaking the law anyway, so... Right, that's fine. I'm just letting you. Aye, but if they did phone the police, it would be break, uh, waste the police time. The police will just tell you that we're here and That's we're not fine. breaking we're any out, laws. Just do what we're out to do, right? Yeah, and I appreciate that, but I could, I could say, I bet you've had this situation before, and the we police are. have come and said that they're not breaking well, the law. Them well, I'm just, I couldn't, well, okay, we'll go, right. we'll see what happens. Right. But yeah, thanks a lot, sir. So, yeah, he was quite pleasant, um, you know, and I do realise that, yeah, the guy has got a job to do, uh, and I appreciate that. You know, I should have asked him some questions actually, but never mind. So yeah, um, so as I was saying, I'm gonna pause for now, though, guys. So I don't know if anyone's actually seen this sound before. I have watched um, reports or uh, auditors uh, come here, but I've never seen this sound. Any person throwing or transporting an unauthorised item into a prison is guilty of an offence. The Prison Act 1952 and Section 79 of the Serious Crimes Act 2015. It doesn't tell you what the uh, thing we would be, the sentence. I think what it is, the wall does need, um, I'd say, it needs um, a bit of pointing, yeah. Um, and we're talking about proper naughty prisoners in here, man. You know, we don't want anyone escaping, do we? Um, proper. Ah, oh, so the man in the van who we were talking to, um, has decided. Can't zoom in in this mode. Oh, well, we can't zoom in in this mode. But yeah, the van is, he's on the path uh, and he is following us. He's in snail pace. But well, listen, I understand that he's got a job to do. As long as he's polite with me, like he was, um, then I'll remain polite and professional. Uh, simple as that. So, guys, I'm going to uh, record. Um, listen, if I was here to antagonise people, I wouldn't even be right around here. I'd stay around near the gate. Um, what? I've been to Franklin because I used to uh, Well, I've been to a wedding in Franklin. Not as a prisoner, guys. Uh, I, uh, I've been on a, I've been on a few visits uh, in Franklin, and uh, I've never actually been all the way around here. I have got a story to tell you about when I come to Franklin. Got a car took off me. Uh, it was a ringer. I was a disqualified driver, um, but it's a good job my mate was driving. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. If you don't, then I'm not elaborating. So listen, I have turned round. Uh, I'm gonna be flight and move out his way. I have turned round because round that, round that corner. Once you go around that corner, it's like 90. Oh, he's waving and that man. That's his sound, mate. His sound. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he's doing his job. He's doing his job, guys. But listen, I've seen uh, I spy audits here. I've seen uh, I've seen a few different people here. I've seen Live Free uh, with the gamer and uh, News Now Yorkshire here, and they weren't really uh, met very nice uh, I'd say it was quite a hostile reception that they got actually um, but you know what today um, that's not man and the nutter's experience up and out however we've only been here 10 minutes um, he did say to me that we can't walk around the wall well you're there didn't you guys um, so listen let me pause guys uh, I will come back years if and when right there's it there is um, I don't know if it's off to but uh, I'd like to see if we can ask some questions. Guys, obviously, if she says it's a female, if she says no, then I'm not going to pester her. Um, I am going to... I am going to... Uh, thing we... Hiya, miss. Can I, can I just say, miss, I don't want to pester you. I am an independent journalist, miss. Could I ask you a few questions? Okay, miss, thank you. You have a good day, miss. You know, it's not about pestering people, guys. You know, um, at the end of the day, we've got to respect their wishes. Um, you know, talking it does not do antagonising modes like, but I'm not, I'm not about that. 
not a day. I'm a million different people from one day to the next. I tell you what, there's loads of cameras around, like, um, I haven't seen any of them following us, um, if I'm honest, but yes. Um, so yeah, it's many, 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 many years. Back in like 94, 95 times I used to come here. Um, and I can't remember if that's where we used to go in the, um, the actual, um, like visiting, you go in there, produce your VO, uh, visit order, that is, guys, and, uh, hello, you're all right, love, you're all right. I'm just, uh, I'm just doing some independent reporting on, uh, HMP Frankland. Oh, nice. Are you just visiting one of the guys? No. <laughs> no. Do you work here, miss? No. Okay, miss, you have a good day. See, I didn't put the... The lady on camera. I think she was. I think she was visiting someone. Um, uh, Majesty's prison service serves. Uh, Majesty prison service serves the public by keeping in custody those committed by the court. Our duty is look after them with humanity and to help them lead law-abiding and useful lives in custody and after release. That sounds says up there. But do they do that, guys? Do you know, because, listen, I've read some stories um, and seen some stories in the mainstream media where, like, actually, there is corruption in the prison service. Now, I'm not saying that there is here because I haven't looked it up properly, if I'm honest. It was a bit of a spare the moment thing, basically, for me today, um, because uh, Paige and uh, Mrs. Torres want to go out and do something, uh, what they want to do. Um, so, um, I thought, I just looked in the, Drop them off and thought, right, we'll do this. Um, so here we are. So I haven't really had time to uh, look up anything in particular, but there is a few things that I don't know about uh, Franklin anyway. Welcome to Franklin Staff Development Department. I wonder if that's where the train then. Franklin Staff Development Department, please press the bell. And then I wonder what that's for then. Identify yourself. All oh, right, that's quite clever. Eh? That's quite clever. So I'll tell you what it is though, guys. Look, it is quite cold today. Uh, not quite cold. I mean, freezing cold, guys. Freezing cold. It's freezing cold, guys. Like, there's a wind. But what it is, it, the wind, it's like ice in the wind, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. So yeah guys, again I'm gonna uh, come back to you soon, man. Again, do you know what, the, this uh, prison, because uh, if I'm honest, when I've watched, um, I've seen bigger vans. I'm just thinking I'm walking right round and I'm, uh, I'm not in even eye shot of not. Um, so I'm gonna go back. Um, but yeah, so they must have a couple of these. Um, but the other one that I've seen, it's quite a big one. It's got cameras on the top of it. Now, I can't remember what this is saying on the side of this one. Let's have a look. I can't see no cameras on the one, guys. Uh, if I'm honest. Um, so, yeah. Um, he's the Royal Mail van. He's the uh, Amsterdam and all the prisoners' mails. And do you know when I was in prison, I always made that fucking. Uh, 10 15 minutes, even I don't know. Anyway, it's at the day off. Do you know when you got a letter off your fucking family? I was gonna say friends, but uh, you find out who your friends are when you go to prison, guys. Believe he's all right, then he's all right. It does say CCTV, uh, CCTV vehicle, CCTV vehicle working for your protection, but I can't actually see any CCTV cameras on it, guys. Uh, what I will say though is, is is the guy in that van he's been like spot on, um, and that's all what I'm after anyway, mate. You know, unless I'm breaking the law, then I let I expect to be left alone. Or if you are going to come up and engage with me, then engage in a civilized manner, uh, manner, not matter, manner, guys. So there we go. There's the HMP prison flag, HM prison service flag, and. Uh, People don't like me saying the Union Jack, it's only a Union Jack, here it's on a ship. So we've got Postman Pats in the area. Um, I've just nearly dropped me phone. No, have you, wanna st have you stopped there? 
Yeah, is that your old leg? Yeah. Right. Hey, mate, as you can see, I have been quite polite today. Yeah. Uh, what I'd like to say, I'm even facing the camera away from you and, uh, you know, uh, respecting your wishes. Um, what I would say is maybe if you could, are you a prison officer? Yeah, yes. Right, maybe if you let us ask you a couple of questions. Now listen, it's always your right to answer or not answer. Um, and then I'll be on my you, way. You can ask if uh, I answer, the like you say, that's... That's, down that's, that's yeah, yeah, obviously, mate. And I, and you know, I uh, I respect your rights. And uh, what I will say is, I respect you for not infringing on my rights as well, sir. Yeah. And I understand you've got a job to do, like I said, yeah. you know, there. But why am I here today is to ask things like this. Um, I, I remember, I can't remember the year, I think it was back in the early 90s that a guy, I can't think of his name, uh, faked appendicitis and got to the hospital in Durham uh, and escaped. Can you remember that? Can't remember that. No, there was also a guy in the late 2000s. I only know him as Skeg because he's off. Uh, he comes from the place I come from. He's in the doctor. I believe that he'd made um, arm, arm style ladders. Actually, he made it to the French but got caught. I believe that was there. How long do you work there if you don't mind me asking? 15 years, so you might bring work near you then. Also, uh, I appreciate that there is a drug problem in prisons, but also that um, staff, not just prison officers, uh, prison staff, do smuggle uh, drugs in um, for whatever reason, they're being blackmailed or whatever, or, you know, or was, some of us struggle with money, whatever. Um, if you've seen an officer or a colleague or someone who works in a prison smuggling drugs in, what, what what would you stand to be on that? What action would you take? My job is so I would put a stop to it. Would you put a stop to it? 100%. Respect, mate. And he's looking me in the eyes, guys, and, I, and, and you know what? I believe this guy as well. Um, you know, I, I believe I'm good at reading body language. I believe he's he is being quite honest. And uh, that's respect. Listen, sir, I am going to get out your way. I'm going to get out your air. Uh, I'm going to leave. And listen, thanks for treating us with respect, no, sir. No, no. Thank you very much. No, and you, sir. No, Thank you very much. Bye. So guys, listen, I can't fault them here, that HME Franklin, um, especially that guy, that's who I've had the uh, interaction with the most, guys, uh, spot on, you know, uh, but like I say, I've watched a few videos where people are being broke last when they come with a camera, because this is what I wanted to say, is be at a police station, or usually uh, a police station, or a, a prison, as soon as they see someone dressed the way I'm dressed, with... A camera phone or camera in hand. Not looking at the bigger picture. I'm going to stand here in a minute, just out this window till I say this. They're not looking at the bigger picture, guys, and uh, they just presume that uh, we're all here just to make to cause trouble. Now, listen, guys, I could tell they didn't like us being here, but listen, respect where respect's due, and I say it all the time, and I've said it on a few of my videos. Respect where respect's due. Uh, and that guy, uh, you know, I think I'm a true believer that we need we need prison officers like him. We definitely need prison officers like that guy in that plan. Uh, and I respect them, respect them, guys. So listen, that's me in the Not Channel. We're out, guys. And that's HME Franklin. Thank you for watching. So guys, it is uh, welcome back to the channel. Taking our rights back again. Uh, we were leaving and we've had a pleasant experience with the staff at HMP Franklin uh, and they got a five star pass for me. However, as we were leaving, the police have just turned up so it'd be rude not to engage. Um, so let's see what's happening. Um, simple as that. So yeah, the police have just turned up. Um, now listen, I'm in a mood where I want to be polite um, and try to remain pol polite and professional. Um, because like it or not, Marty's rancid jacket, this is my job. And uh, it's about being professional, isn't it? So Marty's rancid jacket, this one's for you. Um, yeah, so let's see what's happening. Um, I am going to go and ask that guy, because he is sound, if the police are here for us. Um, simple as that. If they leave us, they leave us. If they don't, they don't. They are here for us, I know that 100% fact. They're here for us, guys. So yeah, 
Wij hebben jou al op. Weet je, ik ga het niet En je weet wat, want we zijn al genoeg. Ze laten ons alleen, guys. Dus so, ja, yeah, um, dat is wat het is, niet? Um, we moeten gewoon after. Uh, I don't believe they will come up with us, but we were walking off guys and they're thinking, nah, they're walking off, we'll just leave them. But listen, there is some guys of all, so we'll see if we can ask some questions. Excuse me, sir, I have been talking to your colleague and I've been quite polite and so is he. And I tell you what, I can't fault you guys, because there's been spot on today. I'd just like to see if I could ask you some questions. What? Miss, I won't get you on video. Just like I haven't named this. Oh, look, they're all shy. They're not like you, are they? They're not like you around here, are they? I don't understand. Do you know why? Do you know why? I've just been saying it on my outro there, right? See, what happens is when you turn up at a police station or HMP, they see a guy dressed like me with a camera and they, and they go back to the experience that they've had with uh, the last one that come up. We should, as young as that, what we tend to do, I think uh, what it is, I think you have done. Yeah, I think you've been spot on, mate. You've, do you know what I mean? We shouldn't judge everyone. Roger. Roger, but, Dodger. We no, shouldn't we should. judge everyone, should we? We shouldn't, but you can understand why people don't want to be on camera. And that's why so, I'm not pointing it at you, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's why I'm not. Now, listen, guys, listen, mate, and this is not me being a, a dickhead, right? I could turn this here now, right? But why would I do that and make you feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Why would I want to do that to you? Because if I don't do that to you, right? I've got more chance of you engaging with me, haven't I? Haven't I? No, do you know what I mean? But here we go, guys. I told you it'll play some for us. Hopefully, these can remain professional like this guy has. Um, I hope they don't. But if they don't, you know, then I don't. Um, and I go down to their level. But listen, mate. Respect, mate. Ta-da, brother. Uh, yeah, I do appreciate him. He's spot on. Um, but if these are not spot on, then listen... The thing and the, uh, the drive off that uh, we'll just walk away. But what's up? Oh, man, are, you right? are you? Are you? Are you auditing, like? I'm not auditing, no. See, that's the problem. Do you want to identify yourself? My name is 121 Gilroy. Gilroy, and yourself? 8249 Main Stanley. Main Stanley, that's a bit of fun, yourself or not? You, you've got a bit of a smile on your face today, so it's always good to see people smiling. Oh, well, I'm happy. PCO. I'm happy. It's good to be happy, isn't it? It's yeah. good to laugh. It's good to have them in Dortmunds. No, I don't. I want a you're job. Not, you're, not, you're not auditing anything. You're just I'm not anything. auditing. You're reporting anything. See, what? That's what I've just been saying. I tell you what, I haven't got a problem with it. as being professional, right? As an infringed on any of my rights. And uh, and that's what I like. Um, and I hope you're not going to do that neither. Or try. Which, uh, what's your channel? What's your... Well, if you go on YouTube and look about, you will find it. Live free? No. Have a lovely day. No. Do you what watch Live Free? Nothing wrong, wrong with Live Free at all. It's they free. go Live Free all day long. Just the rain, we do, a different type do, you, of do you watch Live Free? Do I watch Live Free? I've seen them. I've seen so them if you do watch Live Free, you'll know I'm not Live Free then, won't you? Uh, well, uh, you don't see his face, you see. All oh, right, you see a bit of the face, don't you? Little like you're seeing a bit of my face now. You can see my total face, sir. Um, yes, yeah, so. Never see his face, is it? So, what, what, what brings you to eat today, guys? Just obviously, the prison of just, uh, obviously, just to let them know that you're here, that's all. But we're not breaking the law, are we? No. So, if we're not breaking the law and you know that, why would you, why would you was attend? Was he? We're not police officers, we're trained to support. No, no, know, but it's still taking two community officers away from we're something that you could anyway, be doing. So we're just Aye, but. Just to make sure that no, listen. Order. My question is, did they say that there wasn't? So there you go then. They haven't said that there's anything wrong, they've just said that there's two guys in the area. That that alone's not breaking the law, so why would two officers feel the need or two PCSOs feel the need to come here yeah, and basically waste where, police time? Well, just, just because we have to respond to calls, that's all, man. Yeah. Yeah, but well, couldn't we are, you. We are, do you know, we are, we are happy enough that you, that you are who we say you are. We're, I haven't said who I am. <laughs> I haven't said who I am, though. But I haven't said who I am. But listen, 
what I'd say is when something like this does fall, and I'm telling you that there's two guys with a camera, and you know that's not against the law, maybe advise them that and uh, and and ask them to stop wasting police time, man. Well, to be fair, uh, uh, yeah, like you say, that gentleman did fall. So, if they want to be asked to do it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, I, but what I'm saying, and I appreciate that, but what I'm saying is you know that not there's no laws being broken, so why don't you advise people that? Right. Instead right. of coming out and wasting your time, because I don't, I'm not here to waste your time. It's not wasting my time, mate, as long as it's not that far apart. Well, listen, okay. listen. And I'll make sure everything's all right. I'm happy with that. Listen, while we're having a pleasant conversation, is there, is there any chance I can ask you a few questions? Uh, no, because... Why? Because uh, we don't have the time. Come on. Duty soon, so Two questions. I'd rather, I'd rather just leave it at that. That's listen, all right, listen, that's... one question, and I'll let you, I'll that's let you speak, right? right? Listen, I know police officers wear flags, right, to represent uh, fallen officers and that, that's that. The yeah, young that's ninja, with a thin I know you haven't, I'm looking. But my question is this if there was such a symbol, right, or badge, to represent people that's died in police custody, would you wear one? Sorry, that, that didn't understand the question. Right, so if there was a symbol that is designed to represent people that's died in police custody or murdered in police custody, would you wear one? Oh, well, it's hard to say if there isn't one, but I don't Well, I'm going to get one. I don't wear any badge. That's what I'm you. I'm going to get one and, and, and ask that, because do you know what? This goes back all the way at the 1800s that a policeman or a woman, I, I, young I, I, form, and I see a lot of your stories and I, I understand be, yeah. why you're here. You're, and I appreciate that, you, that you're here as long as, as long as you get your word out and you get your message out then. And there's no. And what do you think of auditors? Right. I'm not an auditor. I'm independent journalist. But what do you think of auditors? I don't want to have any opinion of anybody. Come on, we all have an opinion. No, we don't. What do don't you think about corrupt police officers? I, I generally don't have an opinion on any of any of. Your that colleague's quite shy, isn't he? No. What do you think about pol like uh, corrupt police officers? Where well, he's from, like lads. He's from. We're from God, just like you are, mate. Sound like you've got uh, a bit of a Yorkshire accent. We're from God, just like you. Is that, you're not allowed to say where you're from? We're just, we're from God like you are. Oh, right. We're all from the same person, oh, uh, right. place. So, what do you think about police corruption, so, sir? Hang on a minute, you won't even answer my question. You're I just answered you. Answer you. you didn't? What? I, Fire away. You didn't, I asked where you're from. And I said I'm from the same place as you were from, and that's from God. Oh, mate, that's that. Uh, that's, that's and do you want to know where I live? Not really, no. I no. live at home. Right. Well, okay, lads, take care. Uh, Watch what you're doing, all right? You. And you. Thanks for being professional. And there you go, guys. I told you they were coming for us, didn't I? Um, I did. I did. Now, listen, we've got a different guy in the van now. So I hope he remains professional. Shall we test the waters? Let's test the waters and see if this guy's going to remain professional, eh? Let's test the waters. And uh, see if this guy's going to remain professional. Hello, sir. Are you all right today? So we're just in the area. I, I don't know if your colleagues told you. Independent journalists just doing some... Uh, I like, what I like to do is get a backdrop and then go home and do my report from there. Um, I prefer you're not filming me, mind. Well, look, if you look round. If you look round, look, sir. I'm not filming you. If you look. I could, but I'm not an arsehole. I respect people's wishes right. today. Um, so, yeah... But do you know what I'd you know what I'd appreciate? What? Is if I could ask you some questions and if you wanted to answer them you could. If you didn't then you don't have to, obviously. I'd rather not. I've got to go. Can I ask you why? Why not? I don't want to. Just that's yeah. it, you just don't want to. You know what, I'll respect you, sir. You have a good day, okay? Thank you. Are you a prison officer? No. Okay. You are, you have a good day. So yeah, he did remain sort of professional, didn't he guys? I can't see no cameras on that van though. Um, yeah, you know what? It it turned out to be okay, I suppose. But uh, yes, there you go. I just finished my fucking video as well. Um, but there you go. There you go. What can you do? So that's the Torbinator and the Nutter Channel out. It is freezing today. We've missed a fucking bus. We've missed the bus, man. Bastard! We've missed the bus. Oh, I don't fucking believe that. Right, guys, we missed the bus. But yeah, respect, guys. That's uh, top out. Respect.